Starting off at number 10, we have a level called Weathertop from a ROM hack known as Grand World 2. I really like this level because the way that it looks, it has a really ominous feel with the red and black color scheme. It really just cool. shouts, fuck with me, and find out. Another really cool part about this level is that it was actually a bit of a rumor when Grandpa World 2 first came out. At the very end of this level, there are a lot of fishing moves, and there is a rumor going around the Kaizo community that there was a level with a lot of fishing moves in it. There we go. Oh no! Oh yeah, this is... Oh, this is the troll. Is there a Kaizo block there? There we go. Oh, I wish I had some vodka to drink right now. I'd celebrate. Coming up at number 9, we have the Red Switch Palace from Mostly Harmless. 6,000, holy moly. This is one of my favorites, just because of the fact that you use the key in so many different ways. You'll use it to do shell Thank jumps, you, right on it, and then you'll even use that shell to enter a pipe at the end. Oh man. You're just not, you're just not that good, guys. You're just not that good at Mario. Why are you doing this? Freaking TikTok. Coming in at number eight, we have a Halloween themed level known as Jared. I think it's a completely different language. So, uh, I could be pronouncing it incorrectly, but I really like this level because it's a flying level that takes you to the left instead of the right. Well, all Mario levels are normally you going to the right to reach the goal and not to the left. But once you do hit that checkpoint, it will give you a normal facing the right level. In the end, it has a pretty cool little glitch. There we go. That was actually, that was way easier than the first half. That was so much easier than the first half. Coming in at number seven, we have a level called Flatline from a ROM hack known as Ultraviolet. This level has some really cool platforming ideas and they really hurt my brain. You don't like the music? Actually, I thought the music's okay. It has some parts that are sort of off, but I like the music for the There we go. 3090 Ti. Yeah, the 3090 Ti is ridiculous.
Coming up at number 6, we have a level called Fly Me to Hell from a ROM hack known as Way of Tempest. This level is straight up brutal. From the spikes to the kinds of glitch flights that you have to do at the beginning and at the end. Oh man. No yump reset. <laughs> Dude, the same. <laughs> oh my god. Coming up at number five, we have a level from Flappy to the Stars. And yes, the last level's name was actually a reference to this. This level's actually called Is There an End? And when you look at it, it's pretty well. Uh, it's really well named yeah. because this level oh, lasts crap. forever. It's filled with some pretty crazy flight and also some glitches at the end. Right muscle memory, and when you don't really understand the inputs that you're doing, that's where that comes in. I don't understand the inputs that I'm doing very well. That's something that I need to work on. Get in there! Heck to the yes! Music helps me stay sane, like 100%. I'm like having a bad day. The ability to listen to music changes everything. Oh my god, okay. Coming up at number 3, we have a level called Black Hole Tower from a ROM hack known as Way of the Tempest. I like this level because the music is so freaking good, apparently it's Flintstones, who would have ever thought Flintstones video game would have had this good of music? 
Plus, it just sort of reminds me of Frogger, the way you sort of have to weave in and out of all of the death blocks and just all of the close calls. It's just really fun and really cool. Even the end is also just insanely brutal. Number two, we have what I could only assume would be Michael Bay's favorite Mario level. It's called Black Powder and is from a ROM hack known as Ultraviolet. The Final Fantasy VII music fits this level so well and the gameplay is just phenomenal. I haven't found any other levels like this. Coming in at number one, my favorite level of all time is the finale from Susie and Mario. This level is just freaking nuts. It's very, very creative, and it's very, very difficult. When Gooey created this level, he literally named it Please Watch the Clear Video because he knew that this was going to be like so creative and so wacky that most of the people would probably have an issue trying to just beat this level on their own. <laughs> There we go. I am very, very proud of myself for not save stating. I'm, I'm glad that I sort of just stuck it out. World's easiest boss. Get out of here! And there we go. Insouciant, insouciant, some word I can't pronounce has been conquered. <laughs> 